This right here is a Lister SR2 diesel generator. Now, if you're wondering why on earth I purchased another generator, especially when I have this generator, I've got this generator, I've got this generator, I've got that generator, and uh, let's be honest, I've probably got a couple other generators that I can't even remember. Well, the fact of the matter is, my birthday's coming up, and this is my birthday gift to myself. Also though, I've wanted one of these things for a couple years now, and uh, I've been searching high and low for one of them, and the right deal finally came up. Now, if you don't know anything about Lister engines, they're kind of like, they almost have a cult following at this point. They're, they're world renowned for their reliability, dependability, uh, ease of maintenance, and they're just all around good engines. I believe the company's been around since like the 1880s, and I think they still are going right now, maybe not, but these things are really cool. So this thing is a two-cylinder, two-stroke diesel, and it's air-cooled. In terms of a reliable off-grid generator, these things are kind of the gold standard. These engines have been in everything from boats to grain mills, lighthouses, off-grid power production, vehicles. I mean, you name it. These things have kind of been put in everything. And there's good reason for that too. They're just really good engines. So, like I said before, this is a two-cylinder mechanical diesel. It's a two-stroke and it's air-cooled. So in terms of simplicity, this is basically it. Now I did a little bit of research last night on this serial number. And if I can remember correctly, this is the 37 and 45th engine from 1968 and it's an SR2 and the Z I think has to do with the rotation of the engine so it's a 1968 vintage and this came from the Central Valley this somebody used this to power their house during power outages so when it comes to off-grid this is what I'm looking for. One of the really cool parts about this engine is it's a hand crank start. It does have a little spot for a starter motor there, which I might add in the future. Now the startup procedure on this involves a compression release. This runs both of the compression releases for each cylinder. You rotate that thing a few times and get the engine going. And then all you got to do is turn the compression release over and it'll start. So it's really simple. The rated output of this engine is 6 kilowatts. And the big generator that I have up there in the well house is a 4 kilowatt. And that runs everything that I need up here. That runs my inverter charger and it runs the well pump. But in the future, if I ever build a shop up here, this thing could come in real handy. So let me run through a couple of the components of this engine. We've got the oil filter down here. We've got a mechanical fuel pump with a manual primer, which is cool. Fuel filter here. And like I said, there's the compression release. This right here is the throttle. And this has got to be hooked into this uh, fuel rack somehow. So this is the normally running state. That's off. And this is spring-loaded. Uh, one thing that I've noticed in running this engine, the one time I've run it, is that it seems like the RPMs are pretty high. So I believe that if I loosen this bolt here, I can get a little bit of adjustment there so I can turn down the RPMs, which is nice. It's designed to run at 1800 RPM which for an off-grid generator is ideal because the fuel consumption is really low. Apparently the guy that owned this before could run his house for five days on that tank 
and for the limited power that I need at my cabin, I imagine this thing could run for a week or more. I'm gonna go ahead and start this thing up. Now, it's hot out today, so I imagine it's gonna start pretty easy, but when it's cold, it might be a little bit harder. This thing doesn't have any glow plugs to heat it up when it's cold, so that has yet to be determined. But let me show you how it starts up. Go ahead and engage the compression release. We'll turn that fuel on. Now really, in terms of this video, that's going to be it. I just wanted to show you guys how cool this thing is. When it comes to power production up here, like I said, I've got plenty of generators up there that will work for it, but having the diversity to run it on diesel and to have a slow running engine is really cool because it's just another option and options are good when you're off grid so if you want to see me install this thing hook it up to my battery bank and start making power with it that'll be for a different video for now we're gonna drive this thing up the hill and park it That's it for this video. Stay tuned for lots of other projects. All right, later.